Hey guys, Tiju22 here, and we are back for another episode of Mario Kart 8. However, unlike most of the other episodes that I've done in the past, uh, I stupidly forgot to record my uh, commentary live at the time. I got the footage, but unfortunately, because of that, I am doing this uh, post-commentary, so... Uh, if anything, at least this will give me a chance to explain some stuff. Anyway, I was joining my good friend Andy, and Andy is... He's a streamer. He has his uh, Twitch channel. I'll be sure to put the Twitch channel uh, in a link in the description, as well as information uh, that I'm about to say in text form, uh, in case you... Um, or for, whether you're hearing impaired or if you just want to read it for yourself, then you can go, then you can read it. But I, I joined Andy and every, and you know what? Every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 1030 Eastern Standard Time here in America, uh, you might have to look up the difference in other countries, you know, past that eastward. But other than that, um, I join Andy every Sunday night, and, you know, I, I, I just have fun with him and uh, all the people that he commentates with. And what you see here is Andy, of course, you know, when I filmed this, this was the first race, and uh, he would, and as he was doing this, he was explaining the rules of all the sets, and what he does is, the first set he usually starts with is the DLC uh, casual set, which is where you can play with anything you want, and you can pick any track you want, you can pick any character you want, you can pick any setup of your cart that you want. Um, and of course, it has to include, but it has to include the DLC. Um, mo I would think that nine players out of ten usually have it, and uh, that's what we do. And then the second set, well, I'll, I'll actually explain that in the next video, but uh, I'm just only explaining the, the second, or the first set, rather. But he alternates between, actually, I might as well tell, tell you right now that uh, he starts with a, um, a casual DLC set, then the second set is a non-DLC set, which is the same thing, but without DLC for those who don't have the DLC. And then the third set is a really unique one because uh, what he does is he uses uh, a little program on his computer called the Fruit Machine, and he uses that to determine uh, what theme set it's going to be. Uh, it can range anywhere from the Luigi Death Stare, in which you have to play as Luigi or Baby Luigi. And then there's Toasty Wars, where it's a bombs only, and the only track that you can pick is Baby Park, for all four races in a set. And then there's, um, let's see, and then there's the Seven Deadly Sins, but it's really just the Seven Koopalings, uh, that you have to play as, with certain, um, cart conditions, you know, things like that. Uh, there's also Team Race, which is simply a team race. Uh, enough said there. And then, let's see, what else? Uh, babies at the airport. Uh, that means you play as a light, a lightweight character like Toad, the babies. Anything that qualifies in the uh, lightweight characterization then you pick such a character and the first race has to be at Sunshine Airport you know or, or, or things like that and, and it has to have certain uh, cart parts like the bitty buggy for instance uh, among among other ones but you can just learn more about it when you go to the stream and you know stuff like that but as far as Andy is concerned very fun guy one of the nicest people you'll ever meet when you go to his streams and I haven't had a chance to go as often as I did earlier although to be fair it's you know I get busy with stuff like that and plus 
Uh, sometimes I would have to turn in earlier for the night or something like that. But it's it, it's always a good time to have fun with Andy. You know, just chilling, playing some Mario Kart 8. You know, you 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 definitely get a lot for your um. Uh, you know, it's it's a very good way to relax. If you just want to chill and just play some Mario Kart 8, you can do that. All, all you have to do is just go to his channel and, and just have fun. All right, so now that we got those little preliminaries out of the way, let's just get started with um, the first of four races. And each set is four races. And, of course, this being that this is the DLC casual set uh, I can choose any track DLC and non DLC excuse me got a lot of gas today and well there was only 10 players at the time I didn't even notice that until just now oh of course he wasn't so much explaining the rules it was kind of a, a low night at that time so among some of the people that are here there's Andy but there's also Val baby um, a friend of a friend, and then let's see, there's uh, Crispy Cat or Soggy Doggy, you know, the guy that looks like Morgan Freeman or something like that, very good guy, in fact, very talented, nonetheless, is Soggy Doggy. So now we're just going to, um, we're just going to play. I'm just going to turn down a few things here. All right. So, I mean, of course, uh, I'm not the best player in the world, but I, I would think that I, you know, have played a lot of Mario Kart 8 to be, you know, maybe not the best, but a very, very respectable player. Although I really wasn't on my game at this point, as you see. Although I have a blue shell little shout out to my good friend uh, Colette NL180 I almost said 12 and unfortunately I kept getting wrecked that's another thing I mean no matter how good you are if you get if you keep getting wrecked I mean I, you don't have much of a chance but you know such is life I suppose all right so now I'm in seventh place yeah, that, that's another thing about this game is that it's very competitive. So that should be something to keep in mind that, you know, you have to be very careful. Alright, final lap. I mean, part of this game when it comes to using the items is simply know when to use them and use them. And sometimes you just have to hope to get lucky, although I didn't get lucky right there. In fact, at one point I was at third place, but then I just... I kind of lost it at the end a little bit. Aw, oh, damn it! And unfortunately, yeah... That bomb costed me badly. And it looks like Gumi is the one in the lead. Oh yeah, other people to mention is Zack Attack. Also in this uh, set. Alright, so I'm just going to make my next choice. And I'm going to choose Hyrule Circuit. I just simply chose uh, levels that I want to play in. Nothing more. Uh, there's no strategy or nothing like that. At least in that sense but nonetheless it's it's just something that we do for fun and I, I just enjoy it for what it is like I said and if you want a, a, a chance to play Mario Kart 8 with a bunch of people online this is the best place to do it I mean I can remember it was really hard for me to find people to play with uh, online because most people you know because most people are like busy and with their own lives and stuff like that, and I get it. I mean, and then there's times when I, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get any. Well, I'll tell you more about that later. Anyway, let's just get on with Moo Moo Meadows. It's not one of my favorites, but it's uh, definitely right up there for uh, 
oh my god, I just kept getting right there. But yeah, it's, like I said, it's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely uh, up there among some of uh, one of the nicest tracks you'll ever go on. But yeah, this is a very, very fun game. I mean, I, I understand that uh, there hasn't been any plans in the works to include any new, you know, DLC tracks or, or characters or whatnot. I, I still am holding out hope, but it's not looking good. Uh, I will say that. Nonetheless, though, it is still fun, and I still have fun going to Andy's. And if you want to join me, you are more than welcome to. Uh, you just have to ask me, or you don't have to ask me, but you can just go to the stream at the times that I listed at the, uh, you know, when I, you know, aforementioned, or you could just read the video description. All right, now we're down to our last lap. And I got to second place, but... Let's see if that uh, blue shell helped. Well, it didn't help very much because, well, I didn't quite get far enough. But nonetheless, I got sixth place. I mean, not bad, but I would have loved to have had finished a lot higher than I actually did. Okay, so third race coming up, and um, yeah, this is just the first of three videos featuring uh, the Gaming Beatdown, which is, uh, th you know, the name of the website uh, that Andy has. I might even put a link in the website if you want to go check out, like, for more informational sake, you know, stuff like that, you know? You know, very simple stuff, like, you just want to know what he does. You know, he all, he doesn't just do Mario Kart 8, he also does a lot of other games on the side. And if you want to, you know, have fun at his streams, you are more than welcome to do that. And we're going back to Mario Kart Stadium again, really? Really? In fact, I don't remember if we did do this uh, in... The previous three videos that I did with Candy, Zekrum, and Fries. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, we're back. Alright, so let's just do this again and... I guess as I'm going on, I might as well ask you guys, uh, how are you guys doing today? It's been a while since I've done uh, post commentary for anything. Usually I just, you know, do live commentary and just comment, commentate as, it, you know, just do it live. As you can see, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I, it's been a while since I've done it post commentary that it's, uh, not coming to, or it's, it's not coming to me naturally as it did when I did it on a full time basis, but, uh, oh well. But as I'm doing this, uh, I am back in school. I, I've, uh, you know, recently I got back in school and uh, I'm taking three accounting classes. And if, if you know anything about accounting, it's not fun. Well, it's not fun. Well, it's not that it's not fun. I mean, it can be, but I meant uh, it's not easy, I should say. And. Uh, I just know that at some point I'm going to be saddled with homework and group projects or something like that. I'm thankful that hasn't happened yet, but, you know, at the same time, I don't want to celebrate just yet. But other than that, I'm doing alright, and, um, you know what, there's a couple of new people that I've been uh, checking out. Uh, some of them include, you know, uh, a good friend of mine, Jay Virtus, 
and he says he wants to get this game so you know he can play with uh, me on Mario Kart 8 and you know what I, I look forward to uh, doing that I'll take him on with that challenge but unfortunately I did not finish strong right there uh, I just kept getting wrecked every single freaking time it's just not fun it really isn't and then of course Toad is crying alright one final race but like I said I mean I'm uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing two more such races and uh, I'm doing this uh, relatively late at night well not too late but just you know in comparison to the fact that I have to go to work later or I have to get up early in the morning tomorrow and just oh, it's it's kind of a drag you know but that's but that's what it is I mean that's something it's just something that just occurs naturally that you know work is not fun but what are you gonna do and mine got picked surprisingly and we're gonna be going to Big Blue let's see I believe Gumi is on his way to winning it would have to take uh, a miracle for Gumi to finish dead last and then for any of the guys that are chasing him to get to him it's improbable but or it's improbable but it's not impossible but still the odds are not that good but yeah Big Blue is one of my favorites you know just the fact that it's 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 one big giant lap or one big giant race from start to finish I just should say and I I, I drifted the wrong way like an absolute idiot That's the thing about this game is that if you make a mistake, you, you pay for it. And I just got hit with that shell. All right. Let's see if I can just finish strong here. Oh, well, I tried to take that shortcut, but unfortunately that damn red shell kept getting me. In fact, this is just uh, the culmination of everything, you know, just me getting wrecked. I mean, but then again, it, it, it could hap it could have happened to anybody else, but it just happened to me this time around. But hey, such is life, I suppose. And I got a blue shell. That might help me, but I don't think it'll help very much. And thankfully, I got a bullet bill. Let's see how much this will help me. And, well, it didn't help me very much, sadly. In fact, I didn't even uh, make the top three. Heck, it was not even close. I got 20 points, which is good, but it's not nearly as good as Gumi with his 57 points. So Gumi has won. Well, I didn't do so well, but hey, maybe I might do. I might be able to do better next time. Until then, this is Juju22 signing off.